In this clip, we're going to look at angular magnitude, radians, and a cow. It's a section on trigonometry. A person with normal eyesight can make out an object that has angular magnitude of 1 60th of a degree. Part 1, change 1 over 60 in degrees to radians. 2, here's a picture of a cow and here's an eye, and somebody's looking at a cow. The cow is 1.65 tall. And the question says, use arc length the arc length formula, whatever that is, to estimate the greatest distance at which a person with normal eyesight can distinguish a cow that is 1.65 metres high. Give your answer to the nearest metre. Um, as a fan of Father Ted, I can say there's a famous clip where Ted is trying to explain to Dougal, this cow is small, but this cow is far away. It's a joke I just liked, so I thought I'd share it with you there. So, First part is, can I change one degree to radians? One degree is 0 0.01745 radians, and that's in the tables, the booklet formula and tables on page 13. Hence, 1 over 60, multiply both sides by 1 over 60, you get 1 over 60 is equal to 1 over 60 times that number, so you get 0.00029, there's a bit more to it, radians. And that's going to be useful in the next part. In this question, now, We've got the eye here, and instead of this angle being 1 over 60, that was degrees, we've changed it into radians, because they told us in the question, so I'm taking that as a hint. This here is a curved piece. It's a circle. It's a long, long distance out to there. And really, the height of the cow is this much. But the curve and the height of the cow are almost identical at a big distance. Um, also too, R is the radius of a circle. So when this person is looking at our cow here, you've got R, and the distance from there into there is R. And it's a shade further away than the cow. But he just says, at such a relatively long distance, the height of the cow equals the length of the circumference. Hence, L is 1.65. So L is 1.65, the height of the cow. There's the formula that we should be familiar with. It's in the tables as well. Um, the circumference of a circle is R times theta. So 1.65 is equal to R times theta, where theta is in radians, 0 0.00029. And if you divide both sides by 0 0.00029, you get 5690 metres. So anything close to 5690 metres would get to the marks.